Good morning, students. In today's class, we will start with chapter three, working with tables in MS Word 2010. Okay, how can we create tables in MS Word also? Now open your book, page number twenty. Chapter one and two we have completed all the exercises. And those who have not done work, please do your work, complete your work, and send it to me for checking. Now, open your book and read with me. Microsoft Word helps us to represent data in a structured manner in the forms of tables. You can see here. This is the MS Word window. This is basically used for typing, long text typing, long documents, letter typing, essay typing. Okay, but we can also make tables and tab. We can do tabular work also in the MS Word. Okay, a table. You can see this is the table. What is table? This consists of number of columns and rows. Okay, tables. In a table, there is some columns and rows are there. And it is very useful in organizing, representing the data in an effective manner. How to create a table? These are some steps. Table is an organized arrangement of text in the form of rows and columns. You can see the rows and columns. Intersection of row and column is called cell. You can see this is the. These are the columns and these are the rows. An intersection of column and row. One box will make. Okay, this is called cell. Okay, we are doing typing work in the cells. Word provides a variety of ways to create a table. We can make different types of tables in the Word. Simplest way to create a table is to click on table button in the tables group. Okay, where is the table tool? You should click on insert tab. There is a table button. You can click on this, and the tables group on the insert tab. Okay. From there, we can insert the column and rows. Okay. We should give the number of columns and rows, whatever we want, how many columns and rows we want. We should give the numbers over here. Data in the form of text or graphics can be entered inside the cells. Next, using table grid is another way to create a table. First, insert tab, and we can give the column and row numbers for making a table. And in another another way, click on the table button on the tables group, on the insert tab, and We can drag the mouse over the grid, cover the number of columns you want to table. Now the table will be inserted in the working area like this. Next, using insert table dialog box. This is the insert, then table button, table group, and then insert tab. Just select the insert table option from the drop down box. Now this is the dialog box will appear. Specify the number of rows and column over here. Okay. When you insert a table, you will get the design and layout tab ribbon under the tables too. Okay. So we can design our table, whatever we want any design for the table, border color, background color, size of the tables. Okay. We can change these with this design layout. Now the reason let's no more talk. Point. We can also insert a table by clicking on the Insert tab, Table Group, and Draw Table. This is one option. Another option to draw a table. It is Draw Table. When you click on Draw Table, pointer will change in the pencil shape. Okay, like in the copy, we draw with the pencil any table. We can draw table on the Word screen also with this pencil. Okay. Select the line style. Drag the pencil on the working area. First row and column we should divide like this with the pencil, with the dragging method, like this. Okay. Okay. So in two ways we can 
draw table using table grid or with draw pencil option. Now next option is how can we enter data in the table? How can we enter in data in the table? First, if we click in any cell, there is one cursor will come and place the insertion point in a table cell where you want to type the data. To move to the next adjoining cell, either press tab key we can or right key. We can okay both the key will move to the next cell. To move the previous cell, either press the shift plus tab key or the left arrow key. First, enter the data as given in the figure, English. Okay, We have put a name, column for English marks, Hindi marks and this is the column for total. Okay, like this we can enter the data in the rows and columns in the table. The up and air down arrow key will shift the cursor to the cells above or below the current cell. Now press the shift plus enter to move the cell cursor one row up and enter key to move the cell cursor one row down. This is the way how can we moving around in the tables, rows and columns and how can we enter the data in the table. Now selecting different parts of it. Table. So how can we select different parts of a table? To select a cell, a row, a column or a table by using a mouse, follow the given instructions. Okay, you can see here this is entering cell. To select one cell, if you want to select any one cell, click on the edge of the cell. Like this, you can see here in yellow point. Okay, this will select the one cell if you want to select one row like ashish row okay he is english hindi marks and with total so move the mouse to the left of the row margin and click the left mouse button and drag it to the end row okay this will select the one row now if you want to select any column particular column place the mouse pointer over the top of the column or click the left mouse button like this it will select the one column if you want to select the entire table then click on this square box you can see here move handle this is called move handle and drag the mouse over the entire table it will select the whole table now there is one tip for you you can also select the different parts of a table by using the select menu this is the select menu okay and ta in table tools in the layout tab you can see this is a select, select cell, select column, select row or select table. In, from these four options also we can select different cells, columns, rows and entire table. Now next point is entering data. Okay, How can we enter data in the table? To select the text inside a single cell by using a mouse, a word, if you want to select a word, double click on that word, it will select for you. A sentence, hold down the control key and click anywhere in the sentence, it will select the whole sentence and a block of text, drag the mouse over the text, you can select the block of text, a paragraph, triple click on the paragraph. It will select a paragraph. Now there is one more effect for you. You can insert a pre-designed table using the quick tables option. There is one in the table group. You can see the last option, quick tables option. You can select the quick table, pre-designed tables in from this option, drop down tables. 